I'm Janine Worthington and I'm the author of the In Between Tarot deck. I wanted to take a few minutes today to just talk to you about the concept of In Between and to discuss what is an In Between Tarot card. So I first came up with this concept back in 2010 and it came to me in a dream and I really wanted to explore how you can get from the fool to the magician all the way to the world and how it can spiral back around to the fool again so I was looking at a continuous journey I really wanted to explore the idea of bridges between cards and how you could make those connections so basically I was trying to move away from the idea of cold reading one card at a time so how does this work well traditionally you will have and here's an example from the right away standalone cards such as the Fool, and the next card in succession is the Magician. So what links these two cards together? How can you move from the Fool to the Magician? Okay, so the cards I've created in the in-between tarot explores this in more detail. So now you've got the energy of the Fool, so he's actually jumped from the cliff now, and he's moving down into that energy of the magician. So he's taken that leap of faith. Okay, and you can see on either side of the card, you have the fool title there and the magician on the other side. So now you've got the idea of three cards in one, which is fantastic for reading with a querent because you can explore the surrounding cards and you can also explore the in-between concept and talk about how one moves into the next. I'll show you another card. So how does the energy of the Hierophant move through to the energy of the lovers? Okay, so now we've got a wedding or a hand fasting. So you can see the Hierophant in this card and he's actually a blessing the couple the lovers okay and they are um, they are getting ready for a life together in unity so you can actually see both cards within this one card so this is that in-between concept that kind of bonds them so as well as um, making the majors uh, linked together, I also wanted to explore how the minor cards um, became cyclic and how the court cards become cyclic as well. So in the minor cards, um, in each suit, I've got a 10 spiraling back round to the ace. So here you can see the, the happy family within the 10 of cups getting ready to start again with the ace of cups. So this could be having another child, a new addition to the family. And here in the court cards, so from page to knight to queen to king, I've also got the spiraling background of the energy from the king background to the page. So he's handing down his words of wisdom there. He's handing down his sword to the younger page. So I've made all of the cards in the in the deck cyclic so this is a really new concept within the tarot world so it's not something that's been done before so I was really excited and happy to um, explore this further with the um, fantastic artwork from Franco Rivoli and publisher Lo Scarabeo um, and I also created a majors only deck with uh, David Worthington back in 2013. So this is the 2013 book and cards. And this is the in between tarot deck, which was published Christmas time. So this is still a fairly new release. Okay, and it's got uh, the book as well which is a full colour book which has got all the images on on one page and the text on the other and the cards are within this lovely box set so 
glow scarf. It has a magnetic box set and the cards sit within. So if you want to find out more about um, me um, and my concept, you can find me on Instagram as the In Between Tarot. Uh, I'm also on Twitter and YouTube and the In Between Tarot is currently being sold on Amazon co.uk and amazon.com and in bookshops around the world as well so watch out for that um, and enjoy your day and thank you very much for your time